Hello, I would like to welcome you on behalf of Center for Computational Technologies on online training on computational fluid dynamics. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the fundamentals of fluid dynamics. So, the outline of the this presentation or this session will be to discuss about the definition of fluid and continuum concept, properties of the fluid, classification of fluid flow, flow visualization and kinematic properties of. We will try to cover all these topics in this lecture. If at all some topics remains that will be covered in the next session. So let us move ahead with the very interesting topic of fluid dynamics. So the first question comes what is fluid mechanics and why we should learn this. Study of fluids either in motion or at rest is called fluid mechanics and sometimes it is specifically when we deal with the forces and internal stresses developed then it is called as fluid dynamics. Very interesting phenomena happens when the fluid begins to move. Fluid, generally fluid will be confined within the solid boundaries or it may be exposed to the other fluid. Let me take an example for the solid surface. We have seen in our general daily use that water is pumped through the pipes to different purposes at our home. So the fluid which is passing through the pipe is water and it is confined by the pipe. So the solid surface which is the internal surface of the pipe is in action with the fluid. So there is a interaction between the water that is fluid and a solid surface. This is one of the example where fluid is confined by the solid surface. Let me take an, another example. Suppose uh, uh, we have seen uh, in many cases that air is flowing over the water. Example for this would be a river, ocean or a ponds like that. So what happens? There is a distinct interface between the air and water. Air is flowing over the water and there will be an exchange of energy, mass, momentum between these two. We will see and we will learn more about this in our future slides. So fluids are classified basically as liquids and gases. So fluids are basically classified as liquids or gases depending upon the properties that are there associated with these substances. We will learn about these all details in future slides. Let us first understand what is exactly is the fluid. How it is different from the solid. So this is a very interesting topic that we should clearly understand about this one for further application of this knowledge for the other physical phenomena. In, in this slide we are able to uh, see two pictures at the bottom part of the slide. Uh, the first picture shows the solid and second picture shows the fluid. In the first picture there are two plates, flat plates. Bottom plate is the fixed one and the upper plate is, is not fixed and we can apply a force on that and in between that there is a rubber placed. When we apply a force onto the upper plate what happens that plate exerts a shear force on the upper surface of the rubber. So when we apply a force it exerts shear force please note it's a shear force on the upper surface of the rubber. And because of this what happens? The rubber deforms. The picture shows the deformed shape of the rubber. So what has happened? Because of application of force there is a deformation. And because of this deformation there will be internal stresses developed in the rubber. Stress is nothing but the internal resistance of the body to the applied force. So 